5050 Book One, Third Edition by Warren Wilson and Roger Barnard. Getting started. Warm up. Track one. Let's take turns. First, tell us your name and country. I'll go first. My name's Lina, and I'm from Italy. Where do you live? I live in Riverside. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I do. My hobbies are swimming and hiking. Listening task. Tracks two to five. Number one. My name's Barbara. I'm from New York. I live in Canada. My hobby's photography. Number two. I live in Japan. My name's Alex. I'm from England. My hobby is playing tennis. Number three. I'm from New Zealand. My name's Glynis. I live in Sydney. My hobby is cycling. Number four. I live in Colorado. My hobbies are skiing and mountain climbing. My name's Chris. I'm from Texas. Unit one. Can you speak English? Warm up. Track six. Oh, hi. Are you the new guy? Yes, I am. I started yesterday. Do you know how to use the cash register? No, I don't. Sorry. That's okay. I can show you. So, can you ski? Yes, I can, but only a little. Listening task. Track seven. Oh, I don't know how to do this. What's that, Dick? This math problem. I just cannot do math. Maybe I can help you. You can't do math either, Dad. You know that. Let me see. Oh, that is difficult. I'll ask Mom. She can do math. Yeah, she's good at it. Mom's good at a lot of things. Yeah, I know, I know. Mom knows how to play the piano. Yeah, right, I can't do that either. And she can play chess and ski. Yeah, and she can swim well. So can I. She knows how to speak French, too. How about you, Dad? Well, I can speak French a little, but your mom... No, is... no, I mean, what can you do? Me? Well, let's see. I can swim, and I know how to play baseball. Mom doesn't know how to play baseball. I do. And, um, I can, um... You know how to cook, right? Yeah, but Mom's better at that, too. Unit 2. That's personal. Warm-up. Track 8. Who's that new guy? His name's Andrew, and he can speak five languages. Wow. Where is he from? He's from Canada. How old is he? Do you know? He's 25 or 26, I think. And he's single. Listening task. Tracks 9 to 11. Conversation 1. What do you do? I'm a journalist. Who do you work for? I work for City Life magazine. Where do you work? I work in London. Where are you going to stay while you're here? With friends in New York. Conversation 2. So tell me, Susan, what do you do? I'm a student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm studying child psychology. That's interesting. What school do you go to? I go to UCLA. It's my first year. Oh, yeah? How do you like it? Oh, it's great. But I'm failing French. Conversation 3. Where are you from, Miss Ames? I'm from Canada. Oh? Where in Canada? Quebec. Hmm. And what do you do? I'm a high school teacher. I see. When do you plan to return home? Oh, in about three weeks. Unit 3. Time to learn. Warm-up. Track 12. I'm tired of waiting. Where is he? I don't know. He said half past two. What time is it? It's quarter after three. What's today's date? It's Thursday the 5th. Why? Oh, he said the 6th. Sorry. 
Listening Task, Tracks 13 to 20. Conversation 1. Excuse me, what time does the mall open? It opens at 8.30. And what time does it close today? It closes at half past 7. Conversation 2. When do you leave for London? I leave on February 9th. And when do you return? I come back on March 15th. Conversation 3. When's your brother's birthday? It's May 23rd. And when's your sister's birthday? Her birthday is the 2nd of October. Conversation 4. Pardon me, when does this park open in the morning? It opens at quarter after 9. And what time does it close in the evening? It closes at half past 8. Conversation 5. What day does the course begin? It begins on September the 6th. When does it end? It ends on the 12th of December. Conversation 6. Hello, could you tell me what time breakfast is? Yes, it begins at half past seven in the dining room. And what time is lunch? Lunch starts at a quarter to 12. Conversation 7. When does the movie start? It starts at 20 to 5. Uh-huh, and when does it finish? It's over at 10 past 7. Conversation 8. When does the beach open for the summer? It opens May 30th. When does it close? It closes on the 1st of September. Unit 4. Day to Day. Warm-up. Track 21. How's your new roommate? He's crazy. He gets up at half past four every day. 4.30 in the morning? Why? He exercises for two hours before breakfast. Does he wake you up? No, nothing wakes me up at 4.30. Listening Task, Track 22. So, how do you like married life? It's great, but I only see Mariko on weekends. Only on weekends? Why? Well, I go to work at a quarter after seven, and she usually gets up around nine. Does she go to work in the morning? No, she does housework until noon, and then drives to work after lunch, around a quarter to three. So you don't have dinner together? Not on weekdays. I get home at 10 to six, and usually eat dinner at half past seven. She gets home around 20 past 11 and reads until midnight. What time do you go to bed? I watch TV until half past 10 or so and go to bed by 11. So what do you two usually do on weekends? We talk a lot, you know, catch up. Unit 5. Say that again. Listening task. Tracks 23 to 27. Conversation 1. Does the guard always stand inside near the door? Sometimes he stands outside. He usually takes a 15-minute break around 10, and he goes out to have lunch at half past 12. What time do they close? Monday through Thursday they close at 4, but customers usually come out until about a quarter after. Then they lock the door. I see. I see. Conversation 2. Can I see your driver's license and registration, miss? Sure, just a moment. Oh, I can't find it. Could I have your name, please? It's Jeannie Stone. Is this your car, Miss Stone? Yes, it is. And where do you live? I live in Levittown at 7 Butler Lane. Do you always drive so fast, Miss Stone? Oh, no, I, I almost never speed, officer. No, uh-uh, not me. Conversation 3. Pardon me, sir. Can you speak English? Y yes, I can, but only a little. Are you a pilot? Excuse me? Do you know how to fly? Oh, yes, I do. I can fly a small plane. Can you fly a large plane, like this one? I'm not sure. Why? You see, the pilot's sick and he can't land the plane. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Conversation 4. Cynthia, what time is my flight? I can't find my ticket. It's 5.30, Harry. Check-in is half past 3. Your ticket's right there. Oh, right. Listen, do you know the time in London now? I have to call Bob Johnson. It's 1.15 in the afternoon. 
They usually take one hour for lunch from half past 12 in the London office. Okay, I'll call in half an hour. Do you have Bob's number? I can't find it. I can't find my glasses either. They're on your head, Harry. I'll go and get the number. Conversation 5 I'm here to visit my brother. He works for Help International. And what do you do, Miss, Miss Jennings, is it? Yes, my name is Jennings, and I'm a preschool teacher. Really? Do you also work for the CIA? What? The CIA? I don't work for the CIA. I work for this little piggy nursery school. Why are you here? I'm on vacation. Now I want to call my embassy immediately. Unit 6. Where does it go? Warm up. Track 28. Okay, where does that plant go? Oh, put it on the windowsill. How about this lamp? That goes on the desk. Where's the desk? The desk? Oh, it's still in the truck. Listening task. Tracks 29 to 36. Number 1. Pick up the magazines and put them on the desk. Number 2. Take the wine glasses and put them on the coffee table. Number 3. Pick up the DVD and put it under the TV. Number 4. Take the camera and put it on the bookcase between the lamp and the fireplace. Number 5. Pick up the photo album and put it on the coffee table. Number six. Pick up the sunglasses and put them on the desk. Number seven. Pick up the pillow from the floor and put it on the sofa. Number eight. Take the chess set and put it next to the lamp on the bookcase on the left. Listening task. Tracks 37 to 44. Number one. The pillows on the sofa. Number two. The sunglasses are on the desk. Number three. The camera's on the fireplace. Number four. The DVD's on the TV. Number five. The wine glasses are on the desk. Number six. The magazines are on the coffee table. Number seven. The chess sets on the bookcase next to the lamp. Number eight. The photo albums between the lamp and the fireplace. Unit seven. It's that way. Warm up. Track 45. Excuse me, how can I get to the subway station from here? The subway? Go straight for two blocks. Straight, two blocks. Turn right, and it's on your left. It's next to the bank. So that's straight for two blocks, turn right, and it's on the left, next to the bank. That's right. Listening task. Tracks 46 to 50. Conversation 1. Pardon me, son. Could you tell me where the hotel is? Sure, mister. It's just around the corner. Left or right? Well, turn left at the corner, and it's on the right, on the corner. Thanks. Conversation 2 Pardon me, do you know where the doctor's office is? Yeah, sure. Go straight down Main Street here, and turn right at the second corner. It's on the right, in the middle of the block. Thank you. Conversation 3. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's the saloon? The saloon? It's just down Main Street. Just go straight and turn right at the general store. The saloon is down Main Street across from the hotel. Much obliged, ma'am. Conversation 4. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the bank is? Sure. 
Go up Main Street for two blocks and turn right. It's on the left, just past the feed store. Conversation 5 Hey, how can I get to the sheriff's office from here? Turn right at the corner, and it's on the left, just before the telegraph office. Unit 8. All dressed up. Warm-up. Track 51. So, how old's your cousin? He's 19, and he's a college student. What does he look like? He's tall and thin, and he has long black hair. Is he good looking? Yes, he is. Listening task. Track 52. Hello? Hi, sis. Did you get my letter? Hi, Pam. Yeah, I'm looking at the photo of your classmates right now. Which one is Andrea, your roommate? Andrea? She's wearing the white skirt and striped blouse. Oh, yeah. She has short, curly hair? She looks nice. Is that your new boyfriend near you? The heavyset guy with the plaid shirt? No, Deb. That's Robert. I like Mark, but he's not my boyfriend. Okay, okay. Which one's Mark? He's wearing a white, short-sleeved shirt. Oh, he's cute. Who's the short guy with the jacket and tie? Oh, that's Albert. He's really smart, a top student. And he likes Melanie, who never studies. She's tall and has long, straight hair. He likes her? Yeah, funny, huh? And who is that girl wearing the polka dot skirt and sneakers? That's Amy, the class clown. Her brother Lee is the heavy set guy wearing a striped shirt. They're both really funny. Listen, who's that tall guy with glasses wearing the vest? He's so cute. Is Amy like his girlfriend or something? Oh, Deb, you are funny. That's Rod. And he's our teacher. He's your teacher? Just kidding. Unit 9. Family Portrait. Warm-up. Track 53. Hi, Gina. Who are all those people? My family. I have like 16 cousins. 16? How many aunts and uncles do you have? Well, my mother has four sisters and one brother, and my father has two brothers. Man, that's a lot. Yeah, right. And my sister-in-law has five brothers. Listening task. Track 54. Here's your coffee, Tony. Thanks, Jean. This picture on the fireplace, is it your family? Yeah, except for the guy with the glasses behind me. He's my uncle's friend. Nice place. Yeah, it's my uncle's house. I went up there with my brother's family last summer. Your brother Paul, the writer? Uh Uh-huh. He's next to me, holding Amy. She's my niece. Cute kid. Yeah, she just turned three. And her brother Bobby's in front of me. How old's Bobby? He's going to be five next month. Is that your brother's wife on the right, standing next to him? My sister-in-law? No, that's my cousin Tina. Believe it or not, she's only 16. My sister-in-law Pamela is next to me. So this is your uncle here? Right, that's Uncle Phil. What does he do? He's a carpenter. He looks young. Oh, he's about 45. That's his wife Mary on the left. She's an artist. An artist? Yeah, she painted this picture over the fireplace. This? Oh, it's, um, well, I don't know. It's, uh, very interesting, I guess. What is it? Unit 10. Say that again. Listening task. Tracks 55 to 59. Conversation 1. Yeah, I'm on vacation, too. Do you have family in California? Uh Uh-huh. My cousin lives in San Diego. Great place. My sister and her husband live in L.A., and I have a niece in San Bernardino, a beautiful area. Where are you going to stay? I usually stay at my brother-in-law's house, but this time I'm staying with my niece. It's so nice there. I always stay with my cousin. Her house is across from the beach. It's fantastic. My niece's house is in the mountains. 
I can't wait to land. Yeah, California's great. Except for the earthquakes. Yeah, right, the earthquakes. And the mudslides. Conversation 2. This is a nice place. It's huge and expensive. Maybe too expensive. Oh my goodness. Is that Gary Fields? Where? Over there. He's wearing a red tie and he has a mustache. See him? Oh yeah, the tall guy. Wow, Gary Fields is a waiter? He was a top student in high school. And he went to a great college, didn't he? It can't be him. Excuse me, miss. Can you tell me that waiter's name next to that table over there? His name's Gary Fields, but he's not a waiter. He's the owner. Conversation 3. The Museum of Natural History. Yeah, here it is. It's just across the park. Another museum? Okay, okay. You like zoos, don't you? There's a zoo right off Fifth Avenue. We go back that way and turn left. It's in Central Park. I'm hungry, Benny. There's a cafeteria in the park. I can't eat in a zoo. Yuck. I just can't. All right, all right. Oh, look. There's a pizza place across the street over there. Where? Right there next to the Coliseum. See it? Okay, okay. Put the map away. Let's go. I'm starving. Conversation 4. Hey, sis, where's my red sweatshirt? I don't know. Get out of my room. Look in your room. It's not in my room. Is it in your closet? In my closet? No, of course not. Well, you always wear it. I never wear it. I can never find it. Is it under your bed? No, it's not. Look under your bed. Is that it on your dresser? Is that your sweatshirt? Oh, well, hurry up and get it. I always find my stuff in your room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's this in the pocket? Give me that! Hey, come back here! Conversation 5 Excuse me, can you help me? I can't find Rover. He's not in his cage. Is he on this floor somewhere? I don't know. Maybe he's in the basement. Yeah, well, maybe he's outside, on the street. No, he always stays inside. He never goes out. The dog never goes out? R Rover's not a dog. He's a 12-foot python. Oh, a python. W where are you going? I told you, he's not outside. Unit 11. Like it or not? Warm-up. Track 60. They have fish. Do you want fish? No, I don't like fish. Oh. Well, how do you like roast beef? It's awful. I can't stand it. Okay. Do you like hamburgers? Hamburgers? I love hamburgers. Listening Task. Track 61. So, Ken, how do you like living in America? I like it a lot, but I don't like the hot weather here in Florida. Yeah, it gets really hot. And I can't stand mosquitoes. Yeah, right. How about American food? Well, I'm crazy about pizza. Oh, yeah? How about fast food, hamburgers and stuff? I'm sorry, but that stuff makes me sick, Lisa. Oh, well... How about TV? Do you like watching TV? Not very much, but I like watching sports. American football is fantastic. Really? So you watch football? Yeah, and I watch some music channels too. Oh yeah? You like rock music? Oh, it's okay, but I love jazz. Yeah, me too. Jazz is great. So what about school? How do you like your classes? Mmm, they're okay. Sometimes a little boring. But they're not bad. Unit 12. About tomorrow. Warm-up. Track 62. Where are you going to go on your vacation? I'm going to take a trip overseas, I think. Maybe I'll go scuba diving in Hawaii or skiing in France. That sounds expensive. Expensive? Yeah, it's going to cost a fortune. Really? Oh, maybe I'll just go to the beach. Listening Task, Tracks 63 to 65. Conversation 1. 
Hello? Sis, it's me, Bobby. Oh, hi, Bobby. Did you get back from vacation? No, uh-uh. I'm calling from Las Vegas. I just called Mom and Dad a minute ago, but they weren't home. I have great news. Really? What? I won over two million dollars tonight. Can you believe it? I'm rich. Two million dollars? Are you joking? No, I'm not. Really. Two million one hundred and sixty-one thousand five hundred and twenty-five bucks. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What are you going to do? I don't know. I think I'll buy a house in the mountains. A big house with a fireplace in every room. In the mountains? Yeah. Maybe I'll go skiing every winter. But right now, I'm going to go buy it. Conversation 2. And he's going to buy a new car in Las Vegas, Mom. Las Vegas? Why in Las Vegas? He's going to drive straight to L.A. from there and pick up his friend Charlie on the way. His friend Charlie? Yeah. They're going to fly to Kathmandu for a few weeks. Kathmandu? Where's Kathmandu? It's in Nepal, Mom. They're going to go there first. Conversation 3. And they're going to go hiking, dear, and see Mount Everest. And, um, And it, what? Uh, and, well, relax. Why didn't he call? He tried to call. He's going to send us a postcard. And, a postcard? And maybe he'll fly home from Kathmandu. Maybe? Maybe? Unit 13. About yesterday. Warm up, track 66. Where were you Friday night? I was at home. No, you weren't. Where did you go? Oh, now I remember. I went to see a movie with Tina and Sue. But they went shopping Friday evening. We went shopping first and then went to see a movie. Listening task, track 67. Welcome back, Adam. How was your vacation? It was great. I went skiing every day. The weather was perfect. How was it here? Oh, okay, I guess. I was at home mostly. I watched TV a lot. Well, I didn't watch TV. I went to the hotel disco every night. Yeah? How was it? It was awesome. I met a really nice girl from California and we danced all night. Wow. We went ice skating too. And we had dinner in the hotel restaurant a few times. Really? I cooked dinner every night. Brian, why didn't you come with me? Why did you stay in the dormitory? Well, I was busy. I did a lot of homework, and I read a lot of books, and... Let's see... You didn't go out at all? Oh, sure. I went food shopping, and I even went to see a movie one evening. By myself. Brian, next vacation? Come with me, okay? Yeah, okay. I think I will. Unit 14. Let's eat out. Warm up. Track 68. May I help you? I'd like a hamburger and fries. What would you like to drink? I'll have a Coke. Small, medium, or large? Large, please. Anything else? No, thank you. Listening task. Track 69. Excuse me, waiter? Yes, are you ready to order? Yes, we are. Susan? I'll have a cheeseburger. How would you like it? Medium, please. Uh-huh. And I'd like a bacon burger, well done, and onion rings. Okay. You know what? I'll have a bacon burger, too. Can you change that? Sure, no problem. And could you also bring me a salad? Make that, too. Okay. And what kind of dressing would you like? Italian, please. Wait, no, I'll have French. I'd like Russian. Would you care for anything to drink? Yeah, I'd like a milkshake. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Vanilla. And you, sir? A Coke, please. Large or small? Large. I'm sorry, make that chocolate. Sure, no problem. Anything else? No, not right now, thanks. Would you, uh... Could I also have french fries? Sure, french fries, okay. Would you like your drinks now? Yes, please. Fine. Uh, miss? Yes. Oh, sure. Now's fine. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. Unit 15. Say that again. Listening task. Tracks 70 to 74. 
Conversation 1. That's right. I have two weeks. But I don't know where to go. And my vacation starts in three days. Well, do you like the beach? You can go to Hawaii. It's not too crowded this month. I love the beach. But Hawaii is too expensive. How do you like skiing? The skiing's great in Colorado right now. Skiing's okay, but I don't really like cold weather. Hmm. How about Florida? It's hot and it's not expensive. Nah, I went there on vacation last year. Oh. Well, the Yucatan in Mexico is hot, but... Mexico! Yes! I love Mexican food. It's fantastic! And the people are wonderful and friendly. Yes, that's it. Great. But do you have a passport? Oh, do I need one? Conversation 2 Where's Tracy? She was right here a minute ago. You fell asleep, dear. Tracy went to the movies a half hour ago. Is Pat still doing her homework? I can help her now. She finished her homework. She took her bike to the park. Oh, well, where's Mary? She wanted me to Mary see... Mary if... went shopping with her friends. I took a nap and everybody left? Yes, dear. You were really out. Oh. Well, I guess it's just you and me, hun. So, what are we going to watch on TV tonight? Jane, what are we going to... Jane? Hello? Conversation 3 I love Saturday morning. What are you going to do this fine morning, sweetheart? Well, I'm going to go jogging first and then take Poochie for a walk. Sounds great. I'm going to ride my bike over to Jay's house and we're going to play tennis in the park. Oh, yeah? Maybe I'll join you. Great. We can have a picnic lunch together afterwards. Yes. I'll pack the food now and... On second thought, maybe I'll do the laundry and vacuum the house. Yeah, I think I'll clean the garage and fix that doorknob. Conversation 4 That was a good meal. Yes, it was. The service was so-so, though. Really? I thought it was okay. Would you like anything else? Not me. How about you, hun? Yes, I'd like chocolate ice cream. I'm sorry, but we only have vanilla, peach, strawberry, and coffee ice cream. Oh, let me see. Okay, I'll have some apple pie. I'm sorry, but we have Boston cream pie, pumpkin, blueberry, and banana. I see. Okay, cheesecake. Do you have cheesecake? I'm sorry, but we only have fruit cake, okay, angel food never cake, mind. chocolate layer cake, ice cream cake, assorted donuts, and... Excuse me. Could we have the check, please? Conversation 5. So, what's everyone going to have? Franklin's going to have two hot dogs, Amanda's going to have one hot dog and one hamburger, and I'm going to have a cheeseburger. Maybe I'll have a hot dog, too. Fine. Do you like my new gas grill? I bought it yesterday. Isn't it great? What's all that smoke? I guess the gas is a little high. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't turn it down. Uh, oh, oh, no, everything's... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Never mind, Artie. <coughs> I, I think I'll have a salad. This audio program has been produced as a supplement to 5050 Third Edition Level 1 by Warren Wilson and Roger Barnard. Copyright 2007 by Pearson Education Asia Limited. All rights reserved. The use of this audio program for the purposes of copying, transforming, or adapting in any manner, in whole or in part, is strictly prohibited without prior consent of Pearson Education Asia Limited. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you for listening.